The templates feature in Elements allows you to build up a website in a matter of seconds. I've got a blank document here. Let's go over to the templates area and take a look. Now you'll notice I've got no templates in my project, but I've got this core pack and this ships with elements and they're all in there ready to use. So let's start with the menu and you can see here, I've got a selection to pick from and I'm gonna pick a sticky menu, drop it into the site, boom. It's already styled, looks great. Next up, I would like a hero for the site. And this is a hero banner, drop that in, looking good. And you can chop and change with these things, add and remove them as you like. So let's remove this and have a look at this one. Not bad. And I can drop in this other hero banner as well and decide which one I want to use. And if I don't, I can just delete them. So let's drop in this photo one again. And because these are made up of the built in element components, you can easily customize them just as you would any other component. So in here, we can just update the text and update all the values as we would. Now, all these templates are built with light and dark mode in mind, and they are responsive. So the text changes size and the design changes size. It's all done for you. And, but we can obviously override it, the design and customize it how we like. But let's add some more content to this site. Here we've got a two column design and we could add the opposite columns there. So a nice image and text. And we could try a brand call out. We could drop that into our site as well. And we need a footer. So I go down to footer and we could drop in a simple footer or maybe we'd like to try out a big footer. Drop that in as well. Pick the one we want and just delete the one we don't. So really simple. There's interactive sections here with FAQs, modal photos, lots of things. We've got audio players all these things set up, a photo grid. Just drop these into your site and try them out. Here's a contact us form, boom, already in your site, just waiting to be configured. We'll remove that as we don't need this on the home page. Now, if you make some changes to some of these site designs, say we don't want this section there and perhaps here we want to make this slightly bigger and I'd like to change the color on it. And I think I might like to use this on my other pages. So what I can do, I can take this design and I can just drop it into my projects templates area. And this is available for us to use on any page. So now if I go to my contact page and then back to my templates, I can just drop it in and boom, there it is ready to be configured. So these are templates. They're really useful and I encourage you to take a look at what we have built into elements. And if you're, fairly advanced with elements, you can take a look at the scaffolding section. They're components that are broken down a little bit more to give you the really raw basic layouts. So you can quickly build things up. Let me show you how this works before we wrap this tutorial up. So I'm in the layout here and I'm gonna drop in a container, which is nice, it's just a container, but it's got some padding applied just to get me going very quickly. And I want a three column design, so I'm gonna drop this in. And already this is set up as a grid, three columns. And I think I want some cards in here. So let's pick a card with an image, drop it in, boom, there it is. And I can just duplicate this. And already I've built up a section here with a nice background, three columns and some cards. So these are really great. They're really raw components that you can just drop in and start using. Maybe I want a button in here, can drop that there. Boom. Let me just move that into the flex. Boom, even better. You know, so I can build up a design that I like and have it ready to go. And again, if I wanted to reuse this throughout my entire site, I could turn it into a template. And I come in my node browser and I'm gonna rename this so I know what it is. Three cards. And let's go back over to our templates. I'm gonna to scroll to the top and my three cards, I'm gonna drop them up here. So now on any page, go to my contact page for example, I could reuse the template I've made in my page. Boom, there it is. So this is really nice. Once you've built up a few sections that you want to reuse, drop them in as templates and then you can use them on every page. Now, if you want the 
sections to share the design and be linked together, you'll want to turn those into globals, which is a deeper topic than we have time for in this video. So if you want to learn more about globals, go to the manual, look up globals, and you can watch the in-depth video there on how to use them and what advantages they have over templates. If you have any questions about templates or globals or anything to do with elements, please check out the manual and please post on the forum over at RealMac Software. All right, thanks for watching this one and I will see you in the next.